Hey, welcome back to Matt again. My name is Rampage and this is Gaming News. This article is Mortal Kombat X System Requirements Revealed. So, just before I get into the specs, I just want to state that this is why I don't understand specs these days. Because, one, they either use ridiculous amounts of RAM or state that they need ridiculous amounts of RAM but never use it. And two, why is any fighting game ever over 20 gigs? You'll find out why I'm saying that in a moment. But anyway, minimum system requirements. OS, 64-bit Vista, of all things. Windows 7, Windows 8. Processor, Intel Core i5-750 at 2.67 GHz. That's a weird number. AMD Phenom 2 X4, 965 at 3.4 GHz with 3 gigs of RAM. NVIDIA GeForce GTX 460, AMD Radeon HD 5850 with DirectX 11. Hard drive space of 25 gigabytes. I like why. The last Mortal Kombat game was 10 gigs. Why are you jumping an extra 15? It doesn't make any sense. It's a fucking fighting game, mate. Anyway, recommended OS 64-bit Windows 7, Windows 8 processor i Intel Intel Core i7 3770 at 3.4 GHz, AMD FX 8350 at 4.0 GHz with 8 gigs of RAM. Okay, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 660, AMD Radeon HD 7950 with DirectX 11, and f 40 gigs of hard drive space? Hold up a minute. Why is minimum specs 3 gigs of RAM, but then recommended spec is 8 gigs of RAM? No game has used over 4! I say that because... Dying Light actually uses 3.7, so, hmm, as well as the 25 and 40, well, is there going to be, like, a 20 million dollar, like, HD texture pack or something, or, like, a 20 gig texture pack? <laughs> that makes no sense whatsoever. As for the i7... I don't know whether, like, I don't understand why any game would ever use an i7 when it requires a GTX 660 or a 7950. Your game should not be that heavily fucking CPU bound. If you're requiring an i7 which has 4 or 8 cores or whatever, and then hyperthread it, it just... Bleh. What the fuck? Just because consoles have 8 cores, we have to use all 8 cores or have, like, the ultimate 8 core CPU to run this game. Probably not. But, yeah, the, I don't know. I'm just getting sick of these developers thinking that we need i7s or thinking that this is what we need when, in fact, it's not. But a lot of the cases, it is, which is a painful conclusion because I don't have an i7 and I do have an i5-2500K, which is... Starting to get dated because developers are just like, you need an i7 to run this cunt of a game. Just stop. Actually make your game worthwhile because I don't know if you noticed, but the PS4, Xbox One CPU is not actually that powerful. And my CPU is probably more powerful than that 8-core CPU, so... Just because it has more cores doesn't mean it's a better performing CPU, just... Just want to get that out there. I don't know the actual spec differences between my CPU overclocked to 4.5 GHz and their CPU in the current gen consoles. I don't know. But, I don't know. Hopefully I'd still be able to run it above 60 anyway, but hopefully it's not locked this time around, which I it, it probably is because most fighting games are either locked at 30 FPS or 60 FPS on PC anyway, which is quite a shame to be honest. But, uh, yeah. Can your PC run it? Mine can. Apparently my CPU can't, though. But, <laughs> hmm. Oh, I just, I just... I'm still trying to wrap my head around the 25 gigs for minimum and 40 gigs for recommended. That makes no sense. The, the data doesn't change, mate. I don't know if you understand that. You still download the same game. Unless, you, unless you're saying that the recommended has, like, some HD quality pack thing that's nearly 15 to 20 gigs. Like, what the hell? 
makes no sense. But anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And remember to check out my gaming channel. The link will be in the description as well as in an annotation above the video. But anyway, see you guys next time. Peace out.